In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a mini extensions portal. So the idea here is um, I'm going to create a portal for my vendors. My vendors come in, they log in with their email and PIN, and then they're able to see the records that they're linked to. And they're only able to see those records and not able to see the records that are linked to other vendors. So let's get started here. Um, I'm going to create a new extension for the extension type. I will select a portal and then you'll need to determine a user's table. So for my user's table, it's going to be vendors. So let me explain to you what a user's table is. It's a table where every record is a user. And the idea here is the person will log in as that user and then be able to see the records that are linked to that user. So in my case here, I will select vendors. And if you don't already have a table for this, just go ahead and create a new table and yeah, just use it as such. Next thing I'll determine is once my vendors log in, what other tables do I want them to see? So in my case, I want them to see the furniture table and the contact table. So those two values right here. So I'll just go ahead and select those two. So the first thing I will do here is add my login fields. So in my case, I want to use the email and pin and pin is just a, a, a new field that I created. Feel free to use whatever uh, login fields you'd like to use. You can use one or multiple. Cool. So let's just jump in and test the portal. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this email and I'll log in as that first user. So once you log in, you see those records, you can edit those records if you'd like, um, make changes to them. They, they get reflected in Airtable instantly. And then um, another thing you could do is you can add records and the records that are added through the portal are automatically linked to the user who's logged in so that there's a, a clear relationship between those records and, and, and the people who are logged in. Then you can switch, uh, switch between those uh, tables. And again, you can always uh, remove the ability to edit records. You can remove the ability to create new records. There's a lot of customization. Last thing I wanted to show here is a profile. The profile is a way to show the record of the actual user. So this record right here, and that record would be um, the, 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 the default behavior is that it's read only, but you can also enable users to edit this record if you would like, and then they can make whatever changes and just save. And this is just using a mini extensions form as well. That's it. Please let us know if you have any feedback or have any questions.